Hello and welcome. This is Jelly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I've had a complete three week break of not painting. I have had videos go up, but they were pre-scheduled. So this is my first day back of um, in my art room painting. So just had a little bit of R&R &R to get over uh, a surgery that I had, but I'm on the way to recovery and feeling better and, and really is some um, definite art therapy to get back into your art again and create. So I've got this lovely, I think it's a 25, oh, let me see. Oh, it's a 30, it's a 30 by 30 canvas. And I'm going to use my straw. I'm going to do a base on this. Um, so it's gonna be sectional. <laughs> you, I just have to explain it as I go along. So for my base, I'm gonna use a white and black uh pour as my base and kind of nothing else in this so it's actually i think that's navy more than black so i'm just squirting it in this container um just squirting it in i'm not worrying about layering it because i'm going to give this an actual like one stir probably shouldn't use any more black otherwise it will come out too too black should i say Okay, a bit more white maybe. There you go. That will do for the base. And I'm going to use um, a little lollipop stick and I'm gonna give it one, two, three, stir. Okay, put that aside. I'm hoping that I have not put too much black in there. I've got a terrible feeling that I have, but let's go. Just wanna like I said, use this as my base. Oh, too much black, Jilly. What are you doing? It might make my other colors pop, so I'm not gonna discount it. I think it should be all right. Let's go with it. So I'm just gonna, not, I wanna keep this bottom bit free to do some really pops of color. So we will see. Let's move my tray out of the way. So just a gentle, gentle tilt over the canvas. Might actually make, might actually have been meant to be, might make the other colors that I've got for this really pop, I'm hoping. So, Probably didn't need to put that much on it, did I? Because I'm tilting quite a fair bit off. But you can scrape it up, put it into another cup and reuse it as a base for a, a different canvas. Absolutely do that. No reason why not. Okay, that's my base. And that looks, even if you did that all over the canvas, that would be actually quite nice too. So now I'm going to go in for the really pops of colour. This is Fluoro Tangerine. So I'm going to do my wiggly bits. going to do it kind of off. not going to do it so it's um, all symmetrical. going to do it off. What do you call it? <laughs> I can't think of the name. Anyway, I'm Fruit Loop. This is the Cool Red it's mixed with my keep it simple pouring medium that I use. The links for my paints are in the drop down box. There's also a link for Floetrol in, in the US. There's a link to get it there. And of course the people in Australia know that you can get it from Bunnings here in Australia. So I'm gonna use a, um, what was this called? Fuchsia, um, Fluoro fuchsia, no, fluoro pink, gosh. I think I used fluoro fuchsia in the previous poll. So I'm really gonna add a pop of color to this, isn't it? I'm not gonna use too much more, just a dark one, which is the uh, cool blue. So 
So it is a real contrast from the classy, classy looking black and white to the pop of colour. <laughs> so some people may not like the mix, but you know, it is what it is. I'm going to gently tilt some of these colours off my canvas down this way. Just hope that I don't disturb the composition of that black too much. Just so it goes over the edges and gives me a nice colours over the edges. And then I'll take it back up. There you go. Trousers, trousers, there you go. Um, I am going to put a little swipey tool here. I'm going to swipe some of that black down this, this away. Let's have a look what it looks like. Let's see. Oh, I don't know whether I should now. Let me try and bring, see what that comes up like with my heat wand. I think that'll be okay. I think I just need to do a separate line of my black. This has just got my normal pouring medium in it. It hasn't got anything special. So I'm just gonna swipe that down. See if they're just the black black. But what I have planned for it will make all those colors pop back out anyway. So it's not a worry. This will be the um, birth of the summer garden under the night sky, if I'm lucky. If I'm lucky, well, a crazy idea I had in my head. Okay, I'm gonna try something now, which I'm not sure whether to use gold. Let me try a little bit of my gold. Where's my lovely Mont Marty? I'm just gonna try this. I'm not sure whether it will work, but this is a bit of the uh, pre-made gold. It's a really lovely gold in the Montmartre. So the rest of the colors are the global colors, but I'm gonna just try, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Let's put a squirt of the gold. Let's see what I get. Huh. All right, giving it a squirt if you actually open the bottle so it can come out. Radio. let's give it a go. I just want to see what my blown flowers, if the gold gives it a nice edging. Let's see. Oh, well, that is quite nice. That would actually look really cool just doing it on the black and white, I guess. That's pretty. It is pretty. Pretty, pretty. Do I push on with it? Maybe I'll just do these, the gold ones at the top. Let's have a look what it turns out like. Those would look super just in that black and white on their own. So that's another project. You could either do stems or you could leave it. Now I'm going to see what doing the blown flowers just in this. It's just that when you do the colours like this, the colour that you put down gives, it, it goes onto the, um, the border of, of your blown flower. I think I've got too much paint on there and what it really needs of course is you can take a lot of paint off where you've got too much like I have there with my balloon so let's give this a go in see if it brings up those lovely colors 
I think I'm just making mud. Oh my goodness, what's going on? They'll come up. Have faith. It is looking a bit grey underneath, but um, I'm pretty sure that they will be okay when I've had my play with them. I'm going to do it in the gold too. It, it helps me take some of that paint off, and especially if you're wiping it each time. And then you can always add a little bit bit of paint afterwards if you've took it took it right down to the canvas. You can add a little bit more. But that's actually bringing the black up, which makes the centre look more defined. But loving that gold blown with the black and white, so I definitely I'm gonna try that on the next canvas. I think do a classy one with just the black and white and gold. So. That's them, let's see the paint's falling in. I know lots of people tell me that they have this trouble. And so that's really what I can recommend is keep sort of uh, kissing it with your balloon or just leave it for the canvas to absorb some of the paint and um, see how you go after that. I'm gonna just try just to blow without any extra paint. That's cute too, but it is coming up a bit gray. So I guess that that's the black and white on the bottom. But I think I can bring this one around and make it look you beaut super duper. That's really nice. I think these colors, I definitely now shows me that I'm gonna do this with the black, white and gold. That's beautiful. These are lovely, but I'm gonna let them dry off a bit and then I'll let you decide. But it is a bit of, it's complete contrast like night and day. It's, it's the summertime garden with the night sky. So have a look at the end results after it's dried and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for joining me. I will be back tomorrow. Bye for now.